Hey y'all, Kevin Ingenboy here. I know y'all watched the video I'd said, where I said I'm not going back to church, but look at what I'm wearing. Yep, I decided to go to church with my girlfriend tonight. So much for not going back to church, I mean, it really doesn't bother me. I'm mainly just looking for my boots right now. But yeah. Yeah. This is the only time anybody on my channel will ever see me in a dress shirt. And normally, I've got the boots. Yeah. And I gotta take this off because I don't want to be disrespectful when I go. I'm gonna leave it in my truck. Like a good old boy. So I'm not being a disrespectful asshole. You know. <sighs> Come on, Max. I won't. But yeah, got my mud jet. Time to start a dip video in the most. Well, these are probably the fanciest clothes I have, literally. Plaid shirts, blue jeans, and boots. This is literally the fanciest clothes I have. Sage, come here. Max, come here. But yeah. Oh my god, some of y'all are gonna call me a fucking hypocrite for this. But oh well. I'll be a hypocrite if I have to. <laughs> nah. I'm normally not a hypocrite. I'm normally not. I really am not. But it's like, you know what? Uh so you know what, fuck it. I'll go to church. 6:30. So let me pack a dip and tell y'all something. So yeah, I got something to tell y'all, and it's actually pretty funny. Uh, some of y'all may not think it's funny, but me, I think everything's funny. I don't know why. I kind, I'm kind of just the type of guy that thinks a lot of shit's funny. But yeah, I'm gonna pack a dip and then I'm gonna talk. So just shut up and deal. <laughs> Somebody needs to make a song out of that. Instead of shut up and drive, it's shut up and dip. If you make a song like that, send me the video link. And this is just a little teeny tiny pinch. Naturally, you know mamas, they always got to help you with your sleeves and stuff, you know. Always going to help you, no matter what. I actually bought this shirt about a year ago, and it still barely fits me. It's still a little too big on me. But, got the daggum thing tucked in. And, I mean, I was going to wear a red plaid shirt so it matched my truck, but the red plaid shirt that I had... <laughs> Didn't fit me at all. I mean, it did not fit me. Not one bit. But yeah, uh, the funny thing is, is that my girlfriend's friend, I'm not gonna name anybody, but yeah, her friend that basically treats me like a brother is coming. And I have no clue what she's gonna say about me and, well, my girlfriend's friend, I don't know what she's gonna say about me and her friend Nathan. I really don't, but it's whatever. I mean, if she don't like her, she can deal with a man. I mean, that's how I am. If you don't like me, you just gotta deal with me. Because I'm always gonna be here. Uh, but yeah, uh, I actually, I've actually got something to tell y'all that's actually pretty, pretty crazy. Some of y'all may think I'm insane after I tell you this, but I'm basically cursed. No matter how many times I come close to death, I will never die. I don't know why. I've, I've came close to death and I've nearly died multiple times, but never have actually died. So basically, I'm like, I'm like immortal, basically. I, I'm basically like a person that you basically cannot kill. 
I've been grazed by bullets. I've been um, cut by knives. I've been, I've nearly got my head blown off by a shotgun. I mean, I've been crushed by golf carts. I flipped and landed on my head and like my neck bent like this one day and I didn't break my neck. I've been hit in the throat with a piece of plywood that nearly hit my Adam's apple and nearly killed me. Uh, but yeah, man, I mean, I'm basically fucking immortal. No matter how bad it gets, like, no matter how badly I, I get hurt and I come close to death, I don't know what it is. I, I don't die. I've had dystonic seizures to the point where I couldn't breathe and I, I think I passed out at one point, but I never actually died. And my whole family was there. I couldn't breathe. Like I was sitting there 30 minutes, no oxygen. No fucking oxygen. None whatsoever. Just seizing up. Couldn't breathe. Couldn't move a muscle. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't really know anything, y'all, to be honest. I'm basically... And I actually have a buddy that's the same exact way as me. He's basically immortal but he's way older than me he's been in the army he got shot in the lung and went straight through his lung came out the other side and he didn't die and um he's been stabbed he's been shot multiple times well he's been stabbed multiple times i mean basically the same exact thing with me but i mean the other way around because I mean I'm I'm still in the uh, US because I mean I nearly killed myself multiple times in the US I mean come on yeah boom <laughs> got the arm I don't know why I'm joking around I'm just I don't know why man I really don't well, earlier today some lady was riding my ass so I pop my truck in manual. Normal, normal thing for me. If a bitch gets on my ass, I'm obviously gonna pop my truck in manual. I go from sixth, fifth, fourth, and then I stay at fourth for a couple seconds. Drop down to third. My RPMs get up to about uh, 2,500. Then from third to second, I drop and I get up to 4,500 RPMs and my truck shifts back and shifts back forward because I hit the gas. And this lady did not get on my ass anymore. She did it once and she knew I was in manual. I, cause I was like my RPMs revved to let her know. I'm ready to do it again, bitch. Get up on my ass one more time. But yeah, y'all, I've even came close to death in a truck. Uh, I came off on the side of the road because I wasn't paying attention, and I slid. Like, my truck was like this. I went off, and then I went off, and my truck goes like this, and I'm sideways. I'm like this, sideways. And then I whip it, and then I'm just like, and then I get back on the road. I'm scared shitless. I don't want to speed anymore. <laughs> I've even spun out in my, in my mama's car before. When it was a wet day, I actually was uh, turning around and I spun out. But I wasn't even going that fast. I just hit it, trying to get back home. Like, I, I had to make a U-turn to get back home. And I, I kind of didn't know how much gas I was giving it, and I fucking gassed it. And I went, and flipped back around and was going the other way. And I, I mean, I stopped, but I went the other way. I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll go this way and take a long way home. I mean, I've had a lot of crazy shit happen to me, y'all. I mean, I really have. I've nearly been killed multiple times. And it's either my fault or from other people. 
<laughs> Some of y'all are probably like, why are you smiling, you crazy son of a bitch? Because, <laughs> I mean, no, I can't help but laugh about it. I mean, looking back at my past, I've nearly killed myself multiple times. <laughs> uh, I'm lucky to even be alive right now, to be honest. Some of y'all are going to be like, oh, well, it's the grace of God. To be honest, I think it's a curse. To be honest, I think I'm basically damned and mortal. Basically, cannot be killed. Oh, uh, yeah. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it's a curse or a blessing? To be honest. So I'm, I guarantee you majority of y'all are going to go ahead and say blessing. I already know. But, yeah, y'all. No matter what y'all are doing, 24-7, always pack a lip or a cheek, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.